<laughs> I believe you. <laughs> Hi, I am back. And do I have a treat for you today? The focus is mental health, mental illness, mental wellness. And what I want to do is give voice to all of those topics at every level. Well, today we have a professional level on these topics, and I have in the studio with me Dr. Cashman. How are you, sir? Oh, just great. Thank you so much for inviting me. I love the music. I want to start dancing in oh, here. Oh, my but, goodness. <laughs> but we're too busy. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Um, and so I'm Dr. Cashman is um, a, a retired neurosurgeon. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. And mm. has a very strong history in Fort Wayne. He has honored me today and he is going to give us uh, quite a bit of knowledge on mental health, mental illness, but how the mind and body connects, how we think and how it affects our body, addictions and our thoughts. Um, protective factors, mindfulness. But before we get into all that, I want to talk about you, sir. Tell me, um, you shared something when you came in um, about um, how you stay young. Well, I'm, I'm very active, and I recommend it to, to uh, ev- everyone. You know, I wake up in the morning, for example, you know, I give the wife a hug and a kiss, and then my two cats sit on my uh, chest right over my heart. They must feel my neurotransmitters, the hormones in your body. Mm-hmm. Uh, they make me feel great. I, they can, I think, feel my love. I feel their love. Uh, I go downstairs, and I... I and I look at my bird feeders, I can see through the glass, and the birds are eating, and the, the squirrels are going by. Occasionally, the deer stop and eat the corn I leave. Uh, and then I take a walk in nature for about 30, 40 minutes. I go outside, and, I, and uh, uh, this morning, for example, the red cardinals were out, and I've learned their song. So I sing their song back to me. They're singing back to me. Yeah, <laughs> and, yeah, yeah. and now the robins yeah. of spring have arrived, and they have a you know a different whistle, and I've, and I've learned that. And I walk <laughs> about 40 minutes, and, 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 and I take you know sweet water. I take piano lessons and uh, singing lessons, so I may even practice my song. That'd Since there's no hey. one there to, ca- to, <laughs> to criticize me, and I, so I got about uh, ten songs memorized. Um, and, and and after that forty minute activity, I feel great. That's my quick fix. Wow. That's what I'm trying to tell people: develop your own quick fix. Don't start the day with a cigarette or a drink or or an argument or, or something. What about uh, coffee? And I and. I forgot to mention that. I do have coffee. Okay. Yeah, yeah I reckon. And now it's been shown actually good for your heart. Okay. So to have some tea or, or uh, time I leave for work, maybe I've had a cup or two of coffee, and that, that indeed uh, lifts the mood. Right. Thanks, thanks for bringing uh, that up. That's sort of my routine, and I'm walking out of the house and, and, and in the car. Uh, I'll turn on some music that, again, lifts my mood. I, I, I put in my favorite CDs or the radio station, you know, like here, yes. and, 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 and I feel good. Uh, and for breakfast many times, I would like to recommend this to the audience, I have a smoothie. You know, the, the nutrient-dense food uh, uh, could be kale or spinach or, or fruit, or cumin, a few nuts, some seeds. And, you and, make that and, yourself and I, and I make it myself, but yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, uh, uh, I have one every day, every day. No okay. wife makes them. Okay. We both okay. drink it. It's a very healthy thing to do. I'm meeting my nutrient need. Uh, and, and so there's no, I'm not taking too much sugar or something uh, because uh, it, if, if sugar high, uh, then you're going to have a sugar low. Right. You know, you go ecstasy to depression. So part of mental health to keep that blood sugar even. Keep one of a big thing is eating the right food. About 70, 80% vegetables and fruit, maybe 20% meat. Too, ma- too many people today are eating food that doesn't have any nutrients in it. So they're gaining overweight mm-hmm. uh, and, and, and they're getting depressed. And a, a lot of uh, depression is related to the food we eat. Yeah. And then to feel better, they eat sugar to give them the quick fix. And then and they keep on eating it, eating. You know, they grab one donut and, and then another donut, another donut. They're doing the quick fix to make themselves over feel and over and over, over, and over yes. again. And then they get overweight. They develop diabetes, which I see a lot of type 2 diabetes, and type 2 diabetes associated with 30 diseases, wow. amputations, blindness, and, and instantly memory loss and depression. 
and all that could be avoided by by getting a different quick fix and eating the right food. Right, uh, uh, right food uh, is is uh, very important. Can so, I back you up? Yeah. So so what I heard you say is that um, depression is act could actually be caused by um, too much sugar. Yes. Yes. Explain that to me. And I explain this to you. Sugar goes, when your sugar is elevated all the time, like it's in type 2 diabetes, yes. many patients are undiagnosed. We diagnose type 2 diabetes 15 mm-hmm. years too late. And that's one of my biggest things. You can go to mm-hmm. cashmanhelp.com, look at my TV shows. It's on there, all for free. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, and, and uh, watch that. Sugar combines with protein in the blood and is deposited in your brain. It's called Aegis uh, or Advanced Glycation Products uh, and uh, causes uh, poor memory and depression. Yeah, just the, eating the wrong food. So most people think, well, we got Alzheimer's disease, it's genetic, it's unavoidable. Uh-uh, uh-uh. 75% self-induced. Oh, wow. Self-induced. No exercise. You know, and, and incidentally, I will take my smoothie or eat most of the time before I take my walk because when I take my walk, that smooths out the blood sugar from food because we all got some sugar. We need some to stay alive. Right, so right. instead of this big spike uh, because I'm walking right away, it smooths it out. Uh, and time I get back home, my blood sugar probably is normal. Otherwise, the spike occurs while you're driving or when you're first at work. And as soon as you get to work, I'm hungry. Boom, here comes the donut, or, uh, or I want, after I ate a big lunch, I'm, I'm not really hungry for lunch because right. my nutrient density has been met. So food has a lot to do with mental illness and, uh, and, and, and depression. Besides all the complications of certain diseases of type diabetes, if you become blind and start amputating your legs and mm-hmm. toes because you get diabetes, you don't think you get depressed? I would get depressed, well, yes. and, and that's a real thing. You know, and and, uh, and a lot of people fix their depression in the morning. You know, with, with cigarette. So they're going from one terrible thing to another. Other ones have mm-hmm. a drink. Mm-hmm. Other ones have to go into technology right away, and and you see kids and adults living in another world. They're cre- they're creating other worlds. You're right. They're not speaking to anybody, because just a hug. Hey, listen. Let's increase the hugging we do. <laughs> That is a very good point that it actually, that t- technology decreases the interaction with humans. Absolutely. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I, I saw them off as one of the last patients I saw before I quit neurosurgery. Now, I'm a wellness doctor now. And uh, because I saw this in a lot of my patients, they, they didn't need the surgery I was doing. They they need to be taught wellness techniques. So I started writing about it and uh, and. and uh, and helped a lot of people uh, that way. But a, a couple came in with two kids, and he needed some surgery. And uh, the whole time, all four were buried in their iPad and their phone. They never looked at me. Oh, wow. Never looked me in the eye. Yeah. They, when they came back for surgery, they had another kid doing the same thing. Can you imagine the life that they have? Yeah. So don't get buried in a laugh and a hug and a dance and a, and a smile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Tell, <laughs> listen you, you to said some you, music. Yes, yeah. l- listen to some jazz music right here, 95.7 WELT. <laughs> Had to throw that plug in. You actually told me you started dancing. Yes, I, I always enjoyed dancing, uh, uh, actually for years, but never had that, you know, that much time. So okay. now that I am have a little more time that I've sort of, you know, semi-retired, although I still do a Obviously, a lot of things, coaching people and, and everything that I, I took, uh, adult dancing thing. But then um, uh, since I played some pickleball and, 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 and tennis, I thought, you know, I'm getting a day older. So I took up tap dancing <laughs> for three months. I've been tap dancing, and I just love it. Wow. And, uh, and I have about 50 type DVDs, and they're showing the old, you know, it started, uh, I mean, it, a lot of the black people were doing B.B. Johnson, and I watched them uh-huh, and, and uh-huh. try to steal a thing or two. <laughs> if, I, if I can, I'll never be as good as them. But they were not young guys themselves. Uh, you know, I, I saw some of them, and, uh, and I tried to copy something, you know, uh, raindrops on your head, New York, New York, singing in the rain. Does your wife a, a participate I, with I, you I, in I that? Can, I can do that now. You can? Yeah, you I can? Yeah, I can. And uh, I, I can... And, and, who cares if it goes anywhere, but 
but I sort of made a dream for myself. That's important, you know, for people to feel better. Make a dream of what you like to do. You know what my dream was? To begin Dancing with the Stars, the local ones, which I was in before 10 years ago or so. Uh, so I thought, you know, maybe I'll, I'll put in a Fred Astaire outfit and, uh, <laughs> and do Dancing in the Rain. If it doesn't happen... Uh, that's okay. But you know what you can do? You can record it and put it on YouTube. You, you, exactly. There you a, go. Actually, if you go to uh, 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 Facebook, uh, K- Cashman. There you go. Uh, and, and look right now. <laughs> there, there are little segments from my dance stuff on there right now. <laughs> you are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> make me laugh. <laughs> You are awesome. How does mindfulness fit into um, this awareness, this self-awareness? Yeah, this is important because, for example, uh, eat, eating, for example, yes. and diabetes, which is one or two people today uh, is pre-diabetic, and they're going to get those 30 diseases. It can be avoided, okay? Wait a minute. Yeah. Did you say one and two? One and two. I can show you the books. I can show you the DVDs. Absolutely. Wow. One and two, many of them have not been tested early enough. Uh, they, they, their blood tests, they get too late. Did you read the paper the other day, Journal Gazette? One of our councilmen is quitting because he has diabetes, diabetes mm-hmm. and, 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 and renal failure that all could have been avoided. Uh, not his fault. It's the fault of his providers. Yeah. Should have told him. So if you were to do X, you wouldn't have had type 2 diabetes, and you'd still be working, that wonderful man. Right. In the same paper was an article about the community, 35% of, 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 of his racial group. Uh, they represent only 11% of the people uh, have the complications of, of going to need renal transplants. Again, could be avoided. That's mm-hmm. what my TV shows are, are, are all about. Mm-hmm. So my, it, you have to be mindful. You must participate in your health care. Mm-hmm. You have to be mindful how you use your, f- fing- how you use your fingers, mm-hmm. your fork, mm-hmm. what you put on your hand, how you use your feet. So you must be mindful of that, and these things can be avoided. Mm-hmm. Uh, as um, Dr. David Katz on his famous book, Disease Proof Your Life, has undercover 93% of type 2 diabetes could be avoided. 90% of breast cancer, yeah, most women don't know that. Uh, I wrote a book called Breast Cancer Prevention is a Cure. If you don't smoke, okay, okay. and if you don't no more than two or three drinks of wine a week, okay. and you have reasonable weight, okay, breast cancer rate would be dropped 50 to 70%. Yeah, it's us, our fault as providers that. We did, yeah, why that is we that did not, not shared? Like I, I, I have no idea. I'm doing it, so I wrote a book on it. It's on Amazon. Breast cancer prevention is the cure. That's awesome. And, okay. and because once they're diagnosed, you get cancer. Yeah. Okay, they can be helped, but I can prevent it. So if you avoid type 2 diabetes of normal weight, mm-hmm. take a walk every day or dance mm-hmm. a little. Mm-hmm. <laughs> take up tap dancing mm-hmm. and uh, or, or do something. If you can... We have 40,000 deaths a year. We could take it down to 20, maybe less. Yeah. Wouldn't that be wonderful? That would be awesome. That would be awesome. I don't think people, um, I know we're not aware of that. Yeah. 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 Yes. And, and, and I'm teaching it, you know, and writing about it. I thank you. I, I appreciate yeah. that. Talk about the mind, um, body, and spirit connection. Yeah. The, the can't, this is when I was a neurosurgeon, you know, f- 44 years. Uh, I read a book over 35 years ago uh, written by Candace Pert called Molecules of Emotion. She discovered the res- that every, our 70 trillion cells, our body cells, have receptors on them, little fingers sticking out. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. she saw them under the electron microscope. And that's where the chemicals that we take in or the chemicals of our body work. Since she discovered those receptors are an Every cell in your body, they're on your heart, they're on your brain. Uh, and then she discovered that our, our hormones from our brain, our neurotransmitters, they're between, between the nerves and our neuropeptides throughout thought process uh, can affect your body. So how you think those chemicals will hit receptors in your body, in your skin, in your, in your organs. And then she discovered that our Army, Navy, Air Force, our immunity... The monocytes make the same hormones and neurotransmitters, so we speak to our body, our body speaks to our brain. Mm-hmm. So how we think, you see how critical it is? So, and, and 
And when we go see a doctor and say we got neck pain, and the, and the doctor doesn't ask uh, what's going on in your life. Uh, you know, my husband left me. I lost my job three months ago, mm-hmm. and just orders a, a MRI and they see a few changes. We need to fuse your spine. Instead of saying what's going on in your life, and they will then discover that these hormones, neurotransmitters, neuropeptides uh, affect uh, us. And it's not just the x-rays, the x-rays, I call it the nocebo. The the placebo is, I believe, this will heal. And, yeah, yes. and your brain through the transmitters probably may heal you, okay? okay? But the nocebo is negative speak, a term, uh, unfortunately, most providers don't know, but I wrote a book on it, nocebo, the evil twin, and, and how, they, how the negative speak of blood tests or angiogram or MRI can be used to cause you to want surgery when in reality, a lot of the symptoms you got may be from these neurotransmitters, the wow. hormones, uh, the neuropeptides affecting your body, and all you need is a massage, wow. laughter, a hug, a walk, uh, a, 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 to enjoy life, positive thinking. Norman Vincent Peel wrote about 30 books on positive thinking. He sure did, yeah. Someone gave me yeah. those books as yeah. a present. Would yeah. you believe it? I have one of those books. You, yeah, you can yeah. if you think you can. Yeah. Um, so so, yeah. so, can I just say this then? What I'm, what I'm hearing you say, it's amazing because it's all, I am a Christian, mm-hmm. and it's all connected. It's biblically connected because the Bible says in the Word, it says... Um, there's life and death in the power of the tongue. Yes. So what we're yes. what what I hear you saying and that I relate to my life is that when you speak those positive things over your body, if it's um, something's going on, you can you can change. Absolutely. What's going on in your body? It, it's con- totally consistent with Christianity. That's and sp- amazing. And spirituality. Yeah. How how you uh, think has tremendous effects on you. On your body, when you believe, okay, mm-hmm. uh, the reason it makes you feel better, it, it's real things are going on in your body. You're secreting neurotransmitters, hormones in your body. Mm-hmm. It's affecting uh, your whole uh, body. Yes. And, uh, and uh, yeah. You know what I it, love about it, what you said? So it's real. It's, it's, it's real. real. It's not yes. imaginary. Yeah. You're not imagining that you feel better. It's actually happening. After happening. So, cool. so you know what I have to acknowledge. What yeah. I, I I I read in preparation yeah. Yeah. for this interview. I watched a, a DVD. Um, it was an accompanied book that Mind, Body, and Spirit. And what you said is that there are absolutely some medical things that are medical. And yes. need a medical attention. Absolutely. You get a broken but, leg, you get to fix it. Uh, absolutely. But there are some things that, and I appreciate that, that there, that are going on with you. Um, I think you said at one, there was one woman who talked about having her, her knee, p- having so much pain every day. And you clearly said, no, you don't. That's what you're thinking. And your thought, so, yes. your, the the uh, th- uh, thought process. Yes, sir. Yeah. You know, the power of positive thinking. Uh, it has tremendous effects uh, on your body. I saw many patients who, who'd been to pain centers, constant injections, and they do- gave them opioids. Yes. Uh, and, and I finally asked this girl who'd been to, to 10 pain centers, was on all kind of narcotics, uh, and, and I has had 20 MRIs. And I asked her, what were you doing when this started? You know what she said? What? My child was killed in an auto accident. <sighs> No one probably ever asked her. Right. She didn't need those injections. She didn't need those narcotics. Mm-hmm. And then the, the thing that made me always cry when, when I asked her what she, what she uh, used to do for a living, she was a yoga instructor. Mm-hmm. Now, the first doctor should have done what? Send her for some yoga, some exercise. Hey, take some dancing lessons. Uh, take some singing lessons, something. Because those neurotransmitters are going to get secreted by exercise, by singing, positiveness, maybe a good hug, for example. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe she need to get a dog. Matter of fact, I had a 80 year old lady at the end of my practice. So no one could get over her her arm pain and elbow pain. Then I wrote a prescription. And you know what it said on what it? it? What, what, what? Get a little dog. <laughs> That's what it said. A month later, the daughter comes in 
and she's carrying the dog. She's sitting there, and she, and she pointed at me and says, cured. She got up and left. <laughs> nice. <laughs> now you know what the neurotransmitters can do for you. Yes, it yes. gave her uh, a broader, incidentally, 50% of the people go see a doctor, okay, have mild, medium, of severe depression, okay? Mm-hmm. They're misdiagnosed 90% of the time. But they don't come in there saying, I'm mildly depressed. They don't say I'm medium depressed. Uh, they say I have a neck pain, I have a headache, I have a back, I can't sleep, uh, I'm vomiting all the time, my, yes. my bowels hurt, my skin is itching. That's how they come in. If they had been properly tested, very simple, uh, 10, 10 questions, and they, you know they have depression, and then something useful could be done mm-hmm. along the conservative line, not not big time medications. Some people are severely depressed; they need medication, but the majority of them uh, need to eat the right food, right. a nutrient uh, uh, dense food, some good fats because fats make the brain go, uh, and, and and to watch the amount of sh- sugar they're taking, to exercise, mm-hmm. to socialize, uh, uh, people have some friends, maybe go to a church, develop a nice social group. Remember I said about spirituality yes. and, and belief in God? Causes chemical changes in your body uh, and, and, and can s- save you. Yeah. And with that, amen. That's awesome. <laughs> Talk to, what about children? How? Uh, because there's a, there are a lot of children that are being uh, medicated, yes. um, that are being diagnosed with yeah. um, ADHD or... Tons of other diagnoses. Yeah, this is getting very prevalent today. It's partly driven too because I think uh, if you have this, you can collect some five hundred dollars a month or something for disability. That's true. So we have some fakers yes, there sir, yes, that sir. collecting the money, and that's a lot more prevalent than you think. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's uh, one problem. But there's some uh, where the problem can sometimes can be for eating gluten, uh, which is a protein uh, in in wheat, barley, and rye. So they, they should get gluten tests if they have AD or ADHD. Uh, in this country, they don't do it. In Australia, they check everybody. In Italy, they check everybody. In this country, they check maybe 5%. Yeah, a lot of Do you have this, to request that test? Well, the doctors should bring it up. Should, a lot of times they okay. don't. You need to participate in your health care. Okay. So read about That's uh, good. That's uh, good. gluten uh, uh, c- can do it. So, and one thing is, is remember, nature... God designed in us that we would seek some sugar to stay alive. But we were eating, you know, five pounds of sugar in the 1700s. Now we're 200 pounds of sugar. Mm-hmm. And we're addicting children to sugar. Mm-hmm. So they, so they constantly they're eating more and more. And type 2 diabetes is occurring in three and four years old. I know. And teenagers can all be avoided. So uh, sugar addiction is a real problem in children. And it affects their mind. They become... Uh, some people think sugar is more addictive than cocaine. Wow. Yeah. I debated that with a lady on TV, and I think she won the debate. She thought it was sugar. Cause she herself was having a, having a problem. Okay. So a mother's addicting their children to sugar is, is, is their problem. And they do it not on purpose. They love their children for Pete's sake. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they don't know. So what I'm saying is you can't be feeding donuts and sugary stuff to your kids all day. Yeah, and uh, and you get a and and generally, how do you do that when the okay, schools are doing it? I, the schools are doing it is correct because because mm-hmm. I saw that the oh they're eating so healthy the, I saw them in the paper they they showed them eating chicken but the chicken chicken was wrapped in a crust of sugar uh-huh, uh-huh. and uh, and pop tarts for breakfast and pop tarts for breakfast and and they. Uh, it, it, it's and I try to get in the schools to look at what they're eating. They wouldn't yeah. let me. Wouldn't let me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I wonder why. Because they knew it would be on <laughs> yeah, yeah. Access TV. <laughs> and uh, because, we love, you know, the parents love their children. I'm sure the school Absolutely. people do too. But industry uh, bribes with so much money mm-hmm. uh, uh, that, matter of fact, the federal government said uh, uh, if they don't, uh, for example, give them milk. I, I, uh, if you were to read a book called Whitewash by Joe Keon, you would not give milk to a child. Cow's milk is meant for baby cows, not for humans. Yeah, it has so much estrogen and hormones. Casein, the protein in milk, is highly carcinogenic, uh-huh. causes type 1 diabetes. Milk is not good for children. But the federal government has said if you don't give them milk, uh, we'll, we'll stop all your federal money. So the government is participating in this fraud. It's a wow. fraud. Yeah, It's lobbying money. 
And I've heard that before. Yeah, it's Milk a lot of mine. I can, yeah, Whitewash by Joe Keon. Okay. A wonderful book to read. It's full of science. I'm not making this up. It's right there. I always tell people, don't change till you read that book. Right. But I read that book. So th- that affects the mentality of the children. Yes. Uh, gluten can make kids schizophrenic, too, incidentally. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. To make it, and the sugar can make them depressed, and the gluten. Make, so to get some gluten testing, uh, and if your child is not of normal weight, uh, even children can be of normal weight and still have diabetes, called trophies, thin on the outside, fat on the inside. So blood testing is a true sign of your health. Okay. It's not just the look. It's the blood test. You are, I always tell people, you are what your blood work is. So, so, so when you get it, when you're requesting a test from your doctor, yeah, uh, if you don't have a doctor that, yeah. that is doing that, what should you be requesting? It, 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 well, you should request if your child is not doing well and you're concerned to order. I, I want a gluten panel, okay, okay? genetic testing, a, a, a gliadin, a, a blood test. Uh, they can also do a saliva test. You can go to the drugstore and, and, yeah, now and get a test tube and you put saliva in it and 10 days you get it back. You can do it on your own. You don't need a prescription for that. And, and see what their antibodies are. That's, so, but it gluten, and then, Dr. Cashman, once yeah, you get those results, what do you do with that? It, buy dummies for, dummies for gluten. Okay. So you get informed. Okay. And, and then maybe you need to counsel or two. It's not like simple. That one you got to... Participate in okay. the healthcare. Okay. Uh, uh, otherwise, you say, "Well, f- follow a gluten-free diet," but that, y- you need knowledge. It takes more than that. Right. That's a complex uh, subject. You know what I mean? So, uh, but uh, parents, but actually, uh, what the mother and father ate before they conceived, for example, yes. can affect what uh, the child. So, if they're smoking or drinking or eating the mm-hmm. wrong food, mm-hmm. or they both have a gluten problem. They're going to give it to the child. It's going to pass on. So we have 15, we have over 10% of the kids that are born have neonatal abstinence syndrome, uh, NAS, uh, uh, withdrawing from alcohol mm-hmm. or drugs. Mm-hmm. And that can be avoided. And, uh, and But the parents need to be educated. I'm not blaming the parents. Uh, I'm blaming us for not educating. The school system needs to do more about proper nutrition because public health is not doing it, I'll be honest with you. I've been at public health. I've been at the state level. I spoke to them, uh, and, and and they, you know, they have big uh, uh, degrees and everything else, but they're not teaching the public. Well, and, because and there's money attached to to it, and and uh, I saw them uh-huh. giving a lecture yes. at a yes. state wellness conference, and I found on the diabetes thing, their knowledge was minimal. Yeah, wow. I went down there. Wow. I took the books with me. I mean, I I've taken it, wow. <laughs> yeah. but. Yeah, but oh yeah, I took them with me, yeah. and instead of you know, and talk to them about it. But you can't depend on public health. You must participate in your health care. That's right. We need it from this wonderful show, Public Access TV, uh, and, and the library, and the and there's the library. A, there's tons of information. Read a book here regularly. That's you right. You know, it's one of my. I wrote a thing, twenty prescription to lead a good life. I, I saw yeah, that. If you saw that, and one of them is on reading Facebook a book page. regularly. Mm-hmm. Uh, and this library, this library here is the most wonderful thing. It Just is. think of it. I am able to express my ideas on television and on radio because. Yeah. Of public access, of public we access. love you. Yeah. <laughs> it's freedom. This is freedom. Yeah, and, that's and, awesome. and I do get a lot done because if when I took a break just between my shows here, uh-huh. uh, my God, uh, three four people came up to me, and, and it's not about me; it's about my message. Yeah, but you said they were hitting on you, though. Well, <laughs> those those those. I'm just saying that because at, at age eighty one, you need a. A little bit of a positive thought. That's okay. No, That's no, good. They're being nice. They recognize <laughs> me. They were uh, saying nice things, nice, and, nice. and it was. I think I looked like a friendly guy, and yeah. and incidentally, <laughs> if you're a day older, dress up because people will not notice the difference. There you go. I think that was really why the <laughs> a nice smile and a nice outfit, any age, right. works. Right. <laughs> Especially when they're dancing. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> so can I ask you, as a neurosurgeon, yeah. um, how does this all how does, relate, yeah. how, how does, this how all, does all relate to neurosurgery? I mean, that's a very interesting question because we see so many people with complaints of pain, mm-hmm. okay? Mm-hmm. And, and you get trained a certain way, and, and maybe 
35, 40 years ago, uh, I read a book called Molecules of Emotion by Candace Pert. She was working at a she discovered the opiate receptor site that we talked about that that gives the effect of these chemicals and how you feel. Okay. And I read that, and then uh, I get, became more knowledgeable, and I realized what I was looking at. My eyes opened up. Maybe God did it, uh, you know. Yeah. My eyes opened up, and I realized what I was looking at. A lot of it was stressed out, depressed people, mm-hmm. and that their symptoms were not necessarily related to the changes I was looking at. Uh, and the MRI, I mean, at my age, I had no spine pain, but I probably get a five-page report because I'm, you know, a day older, mm-hmm. drying out the disc, one thing or another, but I got no symptoms. Right. But you could see this five-page report. How would that influence another surgeon? You see it at my point? Yes. If he doesn't consider the chemicals, which are not on this test. Remember what I said? Yes. How we yes. think those chemicals, they don't test for those. They're not testable, Okay. And, and, then if, and then if you would request those, some some yeah. physicians may get insulted. Exactly. Because they think, uh, yeah. well, what do you I know? even had patients get insulted because they come to see me. You know, maybe they're uh, type 2 diabetic, their weight yeah. was off, and they wanted a back surgery, you know. And I remember getting a letter back from a patient. is isn't funny, but it, it seems funny. And uh, he wanted his money back. And he, he said on there, I want to see Dr. Cash get my back for you. And he told me um, uh, uh, that I needed to, to lose weight and exercise. And he got on the floor and he showed me how to do push-ups. And he wanted me to buy his books and uh, DVDs. And he wanted me to avoid surgery. The patient went on and on and on. He wanted his consult feedback. But I told him the truth. Right. But they don't want to participate yeah. in the health care. That's common. Uh, I'm just saying my uh, opinion uh, a lot of people don't want to change, but if there was a consistent message from the healthcare community about wellness, every pediatrician, every family doctor yes. should be a wellness doctor. That's right. If they spoke like that, I wouldn't need to do it. Right. And, and I'm sure not everybody loved, and, and you know, including the doctors, the, the way I was speaking. But that's hey, okay. That's fine. Right. That's fine. Truth but is But I real. practice what I preach. Yeah. And, yeah, uh, and, yeah. and 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 people do respond to it. Wow. And, and and we're getting somewhere, and, and public access has a lot to do with it. And, it really it, does. It, 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 uh, you have it, that freedom that you bring, can bring. Bring music into your life. What you're doing is exactly what you're doing. You're doing what I'm doing. You're just one of the modalities I recommend. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, and why do I do this? I love the people. You love the people. Right. I love your smile. I hope right. I can learn to smile like right. you. I love to talk. <laughs> <laughs> I love to run my mouth and listen to music. So I'm right in my zone right here. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, uh, invite well, me again. I think I probably uh, said enough. For, yeah. Yeah. I, don't okay. want people going, I probably don't want people going to sleep on me here. <laughs> they and, uh, no, they won't go to sleep. I want them to stand up and start, start uh, <laughs> dancing. Maybe me, me at a tap dancing lesson. <laughs> But invite me again. I'd be glad to come back. Thank you. So let me give you a, um, you give us a final thought. Yeah. yeah. My my final thought is that we must participate in our life, you know, and find things that that make us feel good. Life is is like the stock market, you know, it's up and down, all of us. No matter what you do, there are going to be bad moments. People are going to die and and diseases occur. But but my final thought is 80 to 90% of the illnesses that we have, are preventable by uh, proper lifestyle, uh, by dealing with stress properly, uh, 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 exercise by watching how we use our fingers, our forks, what we put on them, uh, and 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 whether we have some habits that make us feel good, like I do. And I'll tell you what I do in a week. I, I take piano lessons. I take music lessons. Not all of us can. But you can do this at home. You can get DVDs. You can go to YouTube. Right. It doesn't uh, necessarily it cost, cost anything. That's and, right. and And it's uh, for free. Tap dance in place or whatever. Mm-hmm. And uh, and to bring optimism, develop uh, social relationships. A church is a great place. Mm-hmm. Uh, develop some spirituality and learn to eat a nutrient-dense food. 70-80% vegetables and fruit, maybe 20% meat at most. Uh, and and, and what well, you saw periodically, they keep a fairly normal weight. You probably live to be 100. And if you read the Bible, maybe 120. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate it. This yes, is a real privilege. Yes. It, may, it, may, it made my month, yeah. maybe year. <laughs> <laughs> you are listening to Speak Now, jamming with my jazz at 95.7 WELT.